ഹലോ ദിസ് ഇസ് മഞ്ചിരി റിസർച്ച് സ്കോളർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ സയൻസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഓഫ് കാലിക്കറ്റ് വെൽക്കം ടു ദിസ് വീഡിയോ സീരീസ് ഫോർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഇമേജ് പ്രോസസിംഗ് ടെക്നിക്സ് ത്രൂ ഓപ്പൺ സി വി ഇൻ പൈത്തൻ വിഷൽ പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇൻ സ്പൈഡർ അനകോണ്ട വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ മോസ്റ്റ് പോപ്പുലർ പൈത്തൻ ഡാറ്റ സയൻസ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം സോ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഹാവ് ഗോൺ ത്രൂ ദ വീഡിയോ ഓഫ് ഇൻസ്റ്റോലേഷൻ ഓഫ് സ്പൈഡർ അനകോണ്ട ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സി വി ഇൻ അനകോണ്ട Let us first start by reading and displaying images. For this, we need to import the CV2 library using the command import CV2. Now, we can read an image using cv2.imread that can take two parameters. The parameter 1 allows us to provide the name of the image to be read in quotes. We can also specify the path of the image if it is not in the same working directory. The parameter 2 can have any of the three values 1 0 or minus 1 if we need to load a color image neglecting its transparency we can give the value as 1 if we need to load the image as grayscale we can use the value 0 and if we need to load an image as such by including its alpha channel we can use the value minus 1 Now that we have read an image, to display it, we can use the command cv2.imshow by providing the name of the image to be displayed and the name of window in quotes. A cv2.wakey function is used for waiting for some milliseconds for any keyboard event and cv2.destroyallwindows function is used to destroy all the windows we have created. So now, Let us try to implement our first program. We shall move to Spider Anaconda. So this is my Spider Anaconda ID and I start my program by importing the CV2 library. So you can see here my working directory is in my desktop in the folder IP. I have a folder called experiments. So I start by importing the cv2 library and for reading the image i assign a variable img and i read the image by using the command cv2.imread now we have to check for the image that we are going to read so in my directory i have the image called lena_rgb.tiff So this is the image I'm going to read. So moving on to spider anaconda again. I'm going to read my image which is lena underscore rgb. The extension is tiff. So if I'm going to read the image as a color image, I can use the parameter 2 as 1. This is the part of reading image. Now to display it, we use cv2.imshow in that we can give the name that we have to show on the image window let it be image and we give the variable name which holds the image that is img next we use a cv2.wait key function and in the parenthesis we can give the milliseconds the time for which it waits for a keyboard interrupt next cv2 dot destroy all windows now we can save the program let me save it as read image read underscore image with the extension dot py and it is in the, in the uh, folder ip and inside that the folder called experiments where i have the, have the image lena underscore rgb so now we are going to run our program 
So you can see this is the image lena underscore rgb dot tiff image which we have displayed and if you have to display it as a grayscale image you can use the parameter 2 in your cv2.imread function as 0. Try running the program. You will get the image as a grayscale image. So this was a simple program to read and display the image. You can check out some references. These are the references you can go through. In the next video, we can see about accessing the pixels in an image. So, thank you.